Uh, all right, you guys. I uh, I think it's uh, up and working. Um, all right, welcome to uh, to class this hour. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour we are going to be um, uh, practicing our reading and pronunciation as uh, we read through a couple short stories. Uh, we may only get through one of them, but uh, every once in a while it seems like uh, uh, we fly through one or um, or we go. Uh, um, you know, real, uh, at a decent pace through another. So I, I'm, I'm trying to get at least two prepared for, uh, uh, for each of these lessons. Okay. Um, so yes, uh, go ahead and open up, uh, open up that link on your own page or on your own computer. All right. Um, this, uh, this story here, we're going to be taking a look at a story called Justice, I believe, is the name. So I have two, uh, Justice and Trip to Tahoe. So Justice is the first one we're going to take a look at. All right. If uh, you come into class and you decide to hang out in um, the Google, Google chat, I, I put the link there for you as well. Okay. And it looks like things have kind of caught up with themselves uh, a little bit now. So we'll see if, uh, we'll see if this all works properly. All right, so let's see who we have in class so far. Uh, Adrian, how are you? How are you? I'm doing great. Welcome to class. Do you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Okay, awesome. Not, uh, how is the sound? Not too loud? Uh, nope, the sound is perfect. Yeah, okay. did you get uh, a new set of headphones? Yes. That's why okay. I ask. All right. Yeah, no, it sounds sounds really good. No problem. Okay. Um, very good. Let's see here. And Julissa, how are you? Hi, Chad. I'm doing fine. Hi there. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I, I almost didn't recognize you because you changed your picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, this picture is from a very small town, but I uh, what, like it. Then. What uh, what town? What's the name of the town? It's called well. This is a community located in the jungle. Uh huh. Uh, the city is at people. Mm hmm It's a very very small town. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Very cool. Excellent. Uh, well, good to have you here. Thank you. All right, and Laszlo, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Chad, thank you. And you? I'm doing great. It's good to have you in class here. Thank you. All right. And Amparo. Amparo, is your mic unmuted? Yes. There you I'm... are. Hi. Hi there. Uh, welcome welcome to class. Good to have you back. Thank you. Okay, you guys. Uh, go ahead and open up the link to the, uh, to the story. Um, when you do, this is what you'll see. And I do apologize if Hangouts and Verbling is, uh, are, are working a little slow. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and, and not come out of screen share uh, during the class today because I can already tell if I do, um, it'll probably kick me out and it may take me a bit to come back in because it took me a bit to actually start the class. Um, it was moving really slow. So, uh, anyway, just uh, just be aware of that. I'm going to try and not come out of screen share. All right. Uh, let's start off with uh, with Adrian. And uh, Adrian, let me have you read uh, the first three paragraphs, please. So, starting at uh, I hung up, uh, down to on a weekend morning, please. Okay. I hung up the telephone and with a sigh stumbled down the hall, rubbing sleep from my, from my eyes. Standing before the sink, I tried to remember which knob to use, which really didn't matter, because each produced only cold water. I knew this, but for some reason thought it advisable to alternate, so I always did it. Maybe just for the hell of it. By the time I had dried off. I was fully awake. Awake. My watch reared. My watch read 3 a.m. Managing a small airport was a job not always filled 
with excitement and romance. Sometimes it became one of hard work and little sleep. This particular Saturday morning I felt romance and excitement were out and that hard work and little sleep were in. The owner, owner of the single engine beach bonanza wanted his ship out of the hangar for a 4 a.m. departure. Nine aircraft were based at Bustle Field during the summer of 1960. All nine were safely hangared inside the large wooden building a thousand feet from my office. Okay, I've lost the text. So I tried to find it out again on my separate window. It's about three paragraphs in, is all. Okay, I have it again. Mm, depart for my office. Some, some made recurring flights during the week, but all were certain to fly out on either Saturday or Sunday, uh, when the weather was nice, which is usually was in central Alabama in late May. My problem was that the owner's departure whims were unpredictable. It seemed no matter which plane I parked in the rear of that hangar, it was sure to be the, the first one to want out on a weekend morning. All right, very good. Let's go to the word rear instead of rare, rear. Rear. Ah, very good. Rear. Okay. Rear. Uh, let's let's go to. Uh, let's see here. Where did that go? Whims. The departure whims. There we are. So, um, the owner's departure whims were unpredictable. The owner's departure whims were unpredictable. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Uh, let's go to uh, the word up here. Alternate. Okay, um, you had uh, used a th sound for that uh, that t saying alternate. Okay, alter, alternate. Try that. Alternate, alternate. Okay. Now with the uh, the a t e here at the end, we actually pronounce that like a short i and a t. Alternate. Alternate, alternate. There you go. That's it. Nice job. Excellent. Very good. Everything else is really good. Yeah, very good pronunciations here. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, very good. Let's uh, let's go to Amparo. Um, let's alternate. Yes, let's alternate. <laughs> All right, Amparo, um, let me have you uh, uh, continue reading here at uh, leaving the office. Mm -hmm. Okay, and read down to uh, Cessna uh, 210, please. Okay. Leaving the office, I pulled the door closed and walked down the shallow incline, grumbling to myself in the chilly darkness. Because the hangar opened only at one end, I would have to drag maybe six or more airplanes outside before getting to the Bonanza. The, the one hour's notice help. I could do it in 40 minutes. In those days, moving airplanes was all done by hand. Tugs and tow motors were to be found only upon the larger airports. My mood was a bit dark. The bonanza drum faded into the distance and as I closed and locked the off the office door. Then I collapsed on the old city. I was sound asleep when my next customer arrived. He was pounding on the door as I awoke. He entered the office, made for the coffee arm, then helped himself to a hot hat cup of the several days old overcooked brew. He took a swallow, then gargled. I looked up to see him staring at me with the expression of a man who had just de detected an unpleasant aroma in a crowded 
slow moving elevator. Although he blinked his eye rather rapidly, he did not complain. He knew I had not yet cleaned the once the one week's accumulation of hangar dust and bird poop from the windshield of his new Cessna two to ten. To ten. Uh, yeah, so Cessna 210. All right, very good. Uh, let's go to um, right here. So we've got gurgled. 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 Yeah, one more time. Gurgled. Gurgled. Excellent. Uh, let's go to helped himself to a hot cup. Try that. Helped himself to ha a hot cup. Helped himself to a hot cup. Helped himself to a hot cup. Okay, very good. Um, this word here is earn. Earn. Okay, good. Yeah, it's pronounced exactly like the word uh, earn E A. Money? Yeah. Yeah, earn money. Okay, mm. pronounced exactly the same. Okay, the okay. coffee earn. Earn. Um, okay. Okay. Um, uh, let's go up to SEDI instead of CD, SED, SEDI. SEDI. Okay, What's that very you mean? Uh, the old SEDI. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not exactly sure. I I've never seen a uh, SEDI before, but let's, uh, let's see here if we can get lucky. No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, crossing the fingers. <laughs> Oh, the old SETI, so I guess it's a chair. The old SETI. Um, then I collapse on the old SETI. Um, oh, okay. So uh, it's an old, old, okay. uh, so a couch. Okay, it may be a, a couch that uh, mm -hmm. looks like this. Okay, something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that would be a SETI, I guess. Okay. okay, interesting. Didn't know that. Learn something every day. Uh, very good. Uh, everything else yeah. uh, would be, uh, everything else sounded good. Yeah, okay. no, no other issues. Nice job. Oh. Thank you. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to Dennis. How are you doing, Dennis? Uh, hello, Chad. I'm doing okay. Great. Yes. Uh, uh, please continue here where it says, instead... Okay, instead of setting the mug, uh, mug mug down, let's go to, and then uh, many choices were now available. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, instead of setting the mug down on the counter, he looked at his watch and croaked, I need to be living now. Can you go ahead and get my ship ready for me? I knew that I knew that this wasn't a request. It was more of an order. But hey, that was my job. He walked down to his new ship. Minutes later, the 210 was there aboard. I shaded my eyes with my hand in the usual way and squinted into the summer down main right by the mist. The awkward landing gear made the department. Kessner looked like a bird with broken legs as the spring steel struts swung slowly into the gaping fuselage. Wells and her blonde gear doors close to hide them from the slipstream. This is this was the initial production year for the Kersna 210. To my knowledge, she was the first hiring single engine airplane having a uh, having retractable tricircle landing gear, swept tails and three color paint uh, schemes had made their debut into the aircraft market. That industry was learned from the U.S. automakers, the big three, Cessna, Piper, and Beach. Each precluded uh, the competition by trying to offer a model uh, just a little bit faster, but a bit cheaper, or perhaps just a bit more comfortable than the closest competitor. Many choices were now available. Okay, excellent job. Let's take a look here at, uh, let's see, closest here. So closest competitor. Try that, please. Uh, closest, closest competitor. 
All right, very good. Uh, let's go to the word bracketed. Uh, bracketed. Bracketed. Okay. Uh, one more time. And that instead of bracketed, it would be bracketed. 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 Okay, good, good. Uh, let's go to auto. Automakers, right there. Automakers. Uh, automakers. Good. One more time. Auto. Automakers. Uh, first uh, sound is a uh, R or O. And uh, yeah, an A sound. So instead of ow, it is A. Auto. Automakers. Okay. Automakers. All right. Excellent. Okay. Let's go to the word tricycle. Tricycle. Mm -hmm. One more time. Tricycle. Tricycle. Very good. Uh, let's practice the short I sound. Here, instead of sleep stream, mm -hmm. it is slip. Slip stream. Slip stream. All right. Very nice. Um, let's go to, oh, let's see here. I'm looking for the word this. Any old this will do. Okay. All right here. So uh, this this wasn't a request. So instead of this wasn't a request, this mm -hmm. this wasn't a request. Ah uh, yes yes. Uh, this this wasn't okay. a request. Sure. One more time. Uh, this this wasn't a request. This wasn't a request. There you go. Nice job. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Dennis. Okay. Thanks. Okay, let's go to Francisco. How, how are you? Good, good, thanks. All right, great. Uh, Francisco, please continue reading here from uh, Beach Had Redesigned uh, down to Saturday, please. Next three paragraphs. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Beach Had Redesigned the Twin Bonanza to become its cabin class Queen Air. Cessna could not produce a cabin class aircraft for another four years. Piper, with the, the exception of its pony crop duster, had yet not produced a low wind single, although its twin Apache, with the addition of a large slab tail and larger engines, became the Piper Aztec, designed to chop away at the Cessna 310 market. The weather force forecaster in Montgomery had predicted a scattered, variable to broken clouds with six miles visibility in haste, uh, which caused me to expect a busy day. Six miles visibility was less than a lot for a great majority of weekend pilots uh, plying the skies. Uh, Mods flew. Sans radio, pilotage and death re re no re reconning were their only navigational tools. Pilotage involved reading the aviation chart and simply looking down the sea on the ground what was depicted on the chart. Death reconning involved using time and speed distance calculations made prior to flight and also during flight to determine where one ought to be. Pilots maintaining headings based upon predicted wind calculations were subject to the in inaccuracies of winds aloft for forecast. The nation's first weather satellite Tyros 1 uh, launched April Fool's Day that that year uh, had yet to revolutionize aviation weather forecasting and I knew I could count on getting my share of lost pilots that hazy Saturday. Okay, very good. Um, really good job with these big words like inaccuracies and whatnot and revolutionize. Nice job. Okay, let's practice some some other ones here. Um, so I want to practice the Z sound with you. Okay, this word is hey Z, hey Z, hey Z. Good, nice job. Um, let's go to the word wind. Now this is a crazy one. 
because it can also be wind. Okay. Uh, okay. But right here, we're, we're talking about um, wind. We're talking about the weather and things like that. So based on what we're, we're reading about, that word would then be wind instead of wind calculations. Okay. So uh, okay. let's uh, try this. We're going to say predicted, predicted wind calculations. Try that. Predicted wind calculations. Good. Now, uh, on the word calculations, okay, we want to say cal -Q, calculations. Calculations. Good. Much better. Uh, let's go to the word determine. Instead of de determine, determine. Determine. Good. One more time. Determine. Determine. Excellent. Okay. Um, let's try... Uh, the word most instead of most. Okay, it is most. Most. Very good. This word right here is variable. 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 Okay, good. Uh, remember on that R. Okay, drop your tongue so you don't say variable. Okay. Very I know it looks like a Spanish word, and you're probably going crazy. You're like ah. No, <laughs> right. So yes, I know you're you're trying not to say uh, variable, right? So yes, ver variable. Try that. Variable. There you go. One more time. Variable. Variable. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's go to the word scattered. Okay. This is going to be an ah sound right here. Sca. Scattered. It's scattered. Good. All right. Uh, now you have a a, a very slight eh in front of that S. You're saying S scattered. Okay, remove that E and focus on the S sound. Scattered. Scattered. Okay, give me a D at the end. Scattered. Scattered. Good, good. Much better. Um, and let's practice uh, this word here. Uh, usually I don't like to look at names, but this is a, uh, a typical name like Aztec and Maya or the Mayan Indians. Okay, this is the Apache. Like the Apache Indians. This word is Apache. Please repeat that. Apache. Excellent. Okay. Now, this word here, um, uh, this is typical. Okay. Uh, or not typical. It's um, it, 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 uh, it can be common in in uh, in um, uh, Spanish speaking individuals when they see the word wood and they have that W there. Uh, sometimes they tend to pronounce a G. Okay, here you had said good. Okay, pronouncing a G to form that W. Okay, the trick with all W words, okay, this works with every W word out there. Instead of starting off or reading it as a W, think of it as an OO sound. Okay, so I want you to look at the word and we're going to say OO, wood, wood. Try that. OO, wood, wood. Good. Wood. One more time. Wood. Wood. Excellent. Now, um, when you see words like what, where, okay. when, okay, those as well, okay, we start off with an oo sound. Instead of saying what, where, and gwen, think of an oo, and we say oo ut, oo where, and when. Try that, please. Okay. What? Uh, word and went. Good, good. Okay, so that's how we pronounce those W sounds. All right. So when you see okay, a word that you. starts with a W, think of an OO sound instead of a G. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. Let's go to Julissa. All right, Julissa. Please continue here, and mm -hmm. I'll have you read um, the next. Uh, three paragraphs and a little bit. I'll have you read down to where it says necessary skill, please. Okay. Basel Field was located some distance from a large lake. This terrain had little in the way of distinct landmarks and the lake drew lots pilots like a ma magnet. A, pipe, a pipeline and a power line crossing each other at a shallow angle near the lake, led to confusion for some. The pipeline connected petroleum terminals in Atlanta with the rich oil fields and refineries of southern Louisiana. 
Some pilots mistook it for the power line and following it instead could pass close enough to my airport to spot the field on all but very worst visibility days. Viewed from the air, a pipeline and a power line look similar, like a swath cut across the earth, surfaced by a giant long mower. However, the latter swath has poles spaced equidistantly along its, le its length. A sharp eye, a sharp eye, gazing without prejudice nor panic can tell the difference. The power line diverged not far from my field to lead its followers towards other airports. Most highways and most rail railroads twisted and gowned across the state. Small towns appeared similar from the air. It was easy for a pilot to become lost on a has has day in my part of Alabama. Lost? Those pilots who had found themselves in such predicaments were less than willing to admit to admit it. After all, pilots are proud of their navigational abilities. The safety of flight depends upon this necessary skill. All right. Very good job, Delisa. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at some words we can practice. First up, we have the word abilities. Okay, let's use the short I. Abilities, abilities. Try that. Abilities. Okay, much better. Nice job. Uh, let's go to the word willing. Okay, instead of, um, I think you said whiling. Okay, yeah. this is will, willing. Will. Willing. Okay, one more time. Will, willing. Will, willing, willing. All right, very good. Okay, this word here is haze, hazy day, hazy day. Try that. Hazy, hazy day. Good, nice job with that Z. Very good. Okay, um, let's go up to the next paragraph. Uh, that word there is lawnmower, lawnmower. Lawnmower. Long good, one more time. Lawn instead of mow, mow, it is mow, lawn mm -hmm. mower. Lawn mower. Good. Yep. Just like that. Okay. Um, uh, let's practice the V sound at the beginning of the word. So this is V, view, viewed. V, V, viewed. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay. Um, all right. Now we had abilities down, down at the bottom. And now we have visibility. Okay. Short eyes. A whole bunch of them. Visibility. 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 Okay, give me that V. Visibility. Okay. Visibility. Good, good. Nice job. Um, <clears throat> this word here is refineries. 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 Good. Now, uh, you may hear some people say R refineries. Okay. It means the same thing, refineries and refineries. Personally, I say refineries, okay? Um, not for anything except for that's how my family says it. <laughs> there's there's no real, it means the same thing. Yeah, it means the same thing, okay? Um, all right, last one here is landmarks, okay? And we want to use an, a good R sound. Goodness, if I can find it. Here we are. Okay, landmarks. So an R sound, landmarks. Landmarks. Excellent. Yep, just like that. Very good. Yeah, other than that, everything else is good. Nice job. Thanks. Okay, let's go to Laszlo. Yes. All right, Laszlo, uh, please continue here uh, where it says a hot, a hot rocks, uh, uh, Hot Rocks Pilot, okay? Uh, finish off the paragraph. Read this next one. Uh, this one here, and then I will have you read down to... Hmm, let's see. Let's go down to Small Airport, please. Okay, okay keep, keep focusing on your EDs. All right, as you read through here, okay? You're doing great. All right, nice job. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Hot Rocks 
pilot who was managed to convince himself that he is got gift to aviation would uh, sooner take a swiping the suffer the incredible embarrassment attend upon admitting being lost. After all, his cerebrality, his reliability, and his power wish were at stake, not to mention his valued reput reputation. No being lost was the true ago busters. A pilot would sooner admit forgetting to check his fuel or all caps are forgetting the unit, the aircraft's tail before trying to take taxi from the parking area. That then we would do admit being lost. How would a pilot holding reasonable self esteem ever admit being lost? No, a lost pilot landed then spend his time trying hard not to look lost. He would nod and smile politely at other av aviators as he won wondered about his hopes. Someone standing around might men mention the name of the airport or of the nearest town. Non challenge the lost airman would read the sign on the hang hangar. He would reconnect the air and parking lot. He would exam exam examine wall calendars and ask to see the telephone book. By the, the uh, restaurant had opened. So I deterred on the way back the office cutting across the gravel parking lot and the two lane curved drive which circled back to state highway. A short while later with a tummy full of Zeki's pancakes I found my mood had improved considerably and I went about the business of running a small airport. Okay, nice job. Uh, let's take a look at some words. First up is this big one here. The word is considerably. Uh, considerably. Okay, very good. Let's try it one more time. Considerably. Considerably. Very nice. Good. Okay, let's go to <clears throat> uh, this word here. Very close on that ed. Okay, the word is detoured. 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 All right. Nice job. Okay. Uh, let's go here, and we'll go to nonchalantly. Nonchalantly. Uh, nonchalantly. All right. Very nice. Okay. Um, next word is uh, let's see here politely. politely politely right there please politely okay good um, let's practice this this phrase okay reasonable self-esteem ever admit being lost try that reasonable self-esteem ever admit being lost okay one more time reasonable self-esteem ever admit being lost Reasonable self-esteem every admit being lost. Okay, and that is going to be ever instead of every. Ever admit. Try that. Ever admit. All right, very nice. Okay. Um, this word here is, instead of unite, the word is untie. Untie. Okay, good. One more time. Untie. 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 Very nice. Um, this word here is ego. Ego buster. Ego, ego buster. All right. Um, this big one here is embarrassment. Embarrassment. Uh, embarrassment. Very nice. Okay. And last word is whipping. Um, instead of wiping, it is whip. Whipping. 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 Okay. Uh, let's use a short I. Wh. Instead of weeping, 
wi whipping. Whip, whipping. Okay, much better. Now, uh, with this word, remember class, if it has a, a WH, that is going to be whip. Okay, to whip. Without the H, that would be wipe. Okay, wiping and whipping. Okay, with the H is whipping. All right, very good. Thank you, Laszlo. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right, let's go to uh, Mohammed. Yes. All right, Mohammed, uh, please continue here. Uh, so we're going to go from much. Much of this consists. All right, and finish the paragraph. Finish this next one here. And I'll have you read till uh, forehead, okay? Into his hair above his forehead, okay? Now, Mohammed, make sure when you're reading, okay, read slow. Uh, take a look at the R sounds. Focus on pronouncing those R's as well as the TH sounds, okay? So focus on those R's, all right? Okay, go ahead. Much of this consists of airing tires pumping gas, washing airplanes, and in those days, cheerfully swinging props on those craft, not having electric starters, answering the telephone, and sometimes having to run a hundred yards to do so, kept me from getting out of shape. Mid-morning arrived, an angry orange sun beat through the haze, several airplanes had landed, and I found myself busy as a pilot long filled with trans science and locals all talking about the talk the visitor the visitors were easy to spot they were the ones holding the mugs of my free coffee suddenly a well dressed pilot looking to be in his middle twenties pushed through the door as he approached the counter I detected an obvious air of arrogance a silk craft dangled loosely around his neck with one of its ends hanging down his back. The leather jacket was correctly unzipped and his sunglasses were pushed up into his hair above his forehead. Okay, very good. All right, let's, uh, let's practice here. Uh, so we're going to practice the R here in his hair above his forehead. His hair above his forehead. Try that. Uh, his hair above his forehead. Okay, let's try forehead one more time. Instead of forehead, it is for, forehead. For, for, forehead. For, Good. Good. His hair above his forehead. Uh, his hair above his forehead. Good. Much better. Nice job. Okay, uh, let's go to the word arrogance. Focusing on the uh, R, air, ar arrogance. Uh, arrogance, arrogance. All right, nice job. Okay, um, let's go to the word visitors. Okay, visitors. Uh, visitor, visitors. Okay, visitors. Uh, push that. You push your tongue down instead of saying visitors. Okay, visitors, visitors. Visitors, visitors. Good, much better with the R. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, let's go to, uh, let's see, airplanes. So, several airplanes had landed. Several airplanes had landed. Try that. Several airplanes had landed. One more time. Several, several airplanes had landed. Se several airplanes had landed. Good, much better. Okay, um, let's go to an angry orange sun. An angry orange sun. Uh, an angry orange sun. Okay, let's practice and the word angry. Okay, uh, angry. You, you had said angry. Okay, it is anger, angry. Angry. Right? Almost, almost. Okay, anger, angry. Uh, angry. Okay, let's angry. practice. Let's ha let's have you say, grr. Uh, grr, grr. Good, good. All right. So, anger, 
Uh, anger. Good. Angry. Angry. Uh, angry. Good, like that. Okay, angry. Okay, so you want your your tongue to hang out down below. Okay, all right. Uh, very good. Nice job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, let's go back to the top to Adrian. Yes, I'm here. All right, Adrian. Uh, please continue reading where it says the narrow tie. All right, and I'll have you read down to where it says behind the man's back. Okay, so these next uh, two liners, please. The narrow tie was secured by a rather large golden winged tie clip. If any doubt remained that he was an aviator, an oversized pilot's wristwatch weighting his left wrist dispelled that notion. Many would have been proud to have placed that timepiece on the center of their manti pieces above a suitable fireplace. He looked at me and ordered, I want you to top off both tanks with 80 octane, 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 octane. Dip the oil, then come back and tell me what it reads. Jack B., my friend from the cotton mill, had overheard the order. I stifled a smile when Jack made a lewd gesture behind the man's back. All right, very good. Uh, let's go to uh, stifled. Stifled. Yeah, so I stifled a smile. Okay, and that would mean to hold back. Okay. Um, let's go to the word. Um, uh, where'd you go? Mantle. Instead of manti. Okay, mantle. They're mantle, mantle pieces. Mantle. Okay, good. They're mantle pieces. Very nice. And this word here, instead of rather, it is ra. Rather. Ra. Rather. Good. One more time. Rather large. Rather, rather large. Rather large. Rather large. Good, good. Nice job. All right, thank you very much, Adrian. Thank you. Okay, Amparo, uh, please read this next paragraph here. I hastened down to uh, third, her third finger, please. I hastened to do the pilot's bidding, trotting down to the gas pit where his red and silver Cessna 140 was parked. Reaching the ship, I spied the very pretty, pretty lady perched in the copilot seat, climbing the ladder in front of the wind. I stole several glance, glances. Her clear face and sparkling eyes were framed by soft brown hair that wrap, uh, dropped forward off her shoulders, contrasting warmly with the tan and rather promising sweater she wore. When she smiled at me, I almost overfilled the left tank. My eyes took in slender wrists and delicate hands. Stopping when they came to the goal wedding in symbol in circle circling her third finger. Okay, uh, let's see. So wedding ensemble. Ensemble. Yeah, wedding ensemble. Um very let's see, let's go to Delicate, okay? A lot of times I say the A-T-E at the end of the word, okay? Delicate. This is another one of those those situations. It sounds like a short I and a T, just like that, delicate. okay? So delicate, okay? Delicate. Uh, let's go to uh, an S-T-S, fun, uh, is wrist. Wrist. Okay, give me the S at the end. You're saying wrist? Wrist. So, wrist. all right, ready? Wrists. Wrist. Almost, almost. Wrist. 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 Okay, almost there. Almost there. Nice and slow. Wrist. Like a Z sound? Uh, nope, not a Z. No, it's S. Yeah, it's an S. It's a regular S. Wrist. Yeah, you go hasta la T. Wrist. Here, that's it. That's it. Wrist. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> uh, it's it's such a terrible word. Oh man. Okay, yeah. so uh, her eyes took her sl- slender wrists. Um, how, okay, let me see how we, how we say this here. So, um, my eyes took in slender wrists and wrists. Yeah, we say it so quick. It, it almost sounds like we skip over that T and say wrists. Really? But the yeah, the T is there. We just we we hit it so quick. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's a, a shortcut on it, but we don't we don't take a shortcut. The T is there. It's it's just really quick. Wrist, wrist, wrists, wrist, wrist, wrist. Oh, almost. Okay, one last try. Get that S in there. Wrists. Wrist. There you go. Wrists. Okay, nice. Okay, it's a tricky one. Definitely tricky. Uh, let's go to the word promising. Really tricky. <laughs> yeah, for me, yes. Promising. Okay, one more time. Promising. Promising. All right, very good. And the word reaching. Reaching. Uh, reaching. Okay. Reaching. Uh, we want an, a, a long e sound. Re. Reaching. Yeah. Reach. Reaching. Yeah. Reaching. Reaching. Yeah. Reaching. There you go. That's it. Reaching. Okay. Nice job. Okay. That's all I got okay. for you. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Dennis. Yes. All right, Dennis. Um, please read our next paragraph. I finished. I finished and then down to uh, from the runway, okay? I finished the refueling operation, checked the oil level, then walked slowly back toward the office. Two airplanes were in the pattern. Our green and silver Cessna 150 followed on downwind by a bright red tailor craft L2. The Cessna was over the threshold. I stopped to watch as the pilot fly at about 20 feet too high above the pavement. My innards tightened. I, su- I supposed it did too, because just then I heard the room of the 100 horsepower Continental as it's powered on the coal, aborting the latent attempts and climbing away from the runway. Okay, very good. Uh, let's check out three words here. All right, uh, first up is Supposed. Okay, give me an O sound there. Supposed. Supposed. All right, very good. One more time. Supposed. Supposed. Good. Okay. This word here is threshold. 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 Okay, with an O sound. Threshold. 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 Okay, good. And... Okay, here, uh, airplanes, you were saying aeroplanes, so it's air, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes. Good, good. Nice job. All right, yeah, other than that, everything else sounded great. Very good. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go to Francisco. Yes. Francisco, please continue here with pausing. All right, uh, finish this paragraph. And I'll have you read until uh, respects, please. Okay. Uh, pausing on the office steps, I turned to watch the telecraft settle onto the runway in a perfect three point landing. Entering the office, I made my way behind the counter and began tailing, tailing the the fuel bill for the Cessna 140. Most of the chairs and both of the couches were occupied. About a dozen people were seated. Another six were on their feet, one uh, wandering around making impromptu introductions and discussing such such things as the FAA and high cost of fuel the virtues and the and faults of various aircraft and other various and sundry items of airplane talk. I noticed that the pilot of the Cessna 140 
was in a rather heated discussion with the local owner of a uh, Las Comb 8E, an airplane superior to the 140 in many respects. Okay, good. Uh, let's practice the number 140. 140. 140. Okay. Um, now, at the end of that uh, end of that word, uh, that T is going to sound like a D. All right. Instead of 140. Okay. You want to pronounce that D sound in English like a Spanish R. Okay. 14D. 140. 140. Good. Just like that. Okay. Let's okay. go to uh, virtues. So right here, instead of virtues, it is ver. Virtues. Virtues. Good, yes, and that T we pronounce like a CH. All right, Virtues. Okay. Good, let's go to. Uh, uh oh, where did you go? I'm looking for occupied. There we are. Okay, this word is occu, occupied. Occupied. Excellent, one more time. Occupied. Occupied. Very good. Okay, um, let's practice the TH at the end of this word. The word is both. Both. Good, one more time, both. Both. Very good. Um, this word here is tallying. 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 Good, nice job. And our last word here is watch, I believe. Um, so we want to pronounce that CH at the end of the word. Watch. Watch. Good, good. Nice job. All right, thank you, Francisco. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, let's go to Julissa. All right, Julissa, please continue here. Uh, the 140 pilot, um, finish this paragraph, read these next uh, four lines. I'm going to have you read down to uh, we smiled uh, evilly at each other. Okay, go ahead. The forty no, the one forty pilot seemed very sure of himself, sensing the tone of the argument a short distance away. One got the impression that the fancy dressed pilot was lecturing his debater. That conversation ended. I saw his eyes roll the room. He wandered over the over to the rear windows, looking out as if interested in the architecture of the airport restaurant. Okay, please continue. Jack. Jack nodded. Sure did. We smiled evilly, evilly at each other. Oh okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I think um uh, we had. I don't know. Am I the only one? Did uh, did did anyone hear Julissa read through that whole last part? No. No, we don't. Okay. Like yeah. All right. I couldn't tell because uh, tonight my my. Um, my internet's been a little funky. Okay, um, so uh, Julissa, are you there? Yes. Uh, okay. All right. You I are. I think my connection. Yeah, your connection m may have dropped uh, for a bit there because I heard you say "my friend" and then the last thing was "evilly at each other." So skip this whole this whole middle uh -huh. part. Um, but that's okay. We're running a, a, a little short on time. Uh, I do want to practice the word uh, architecture with you. Instead of architecture, it is architecture. Uh, Julissa? Okay, I think, uh, I, think I, I totally lost her now. Okay, you guys. Um, uh, very good. Thank you for uh, for coming to class. Uh, I need to uh, run to my next class now. Um, we'll be uh, uh, doing a similar type of practice.
Um, Dennis, it is pronounced bo, both, and it's a, it's almost like we uh, we put an L there, both, both. Okay, it's a, it's a really really difficult word uh, to kind of explain um, because yeah, going from that O to the TH, when your when your tongue goes between your teeth, it almost sounds like an L. Okay, but I don't actually curve my tongue up to pronounce that L. Okay, both. Okay, and it really gets trapped in the back of your throat. Both. Yeah, both. Okay, it's it's a tricky one. Okay. Uh, all right, you guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we'll see ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you.